Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. Today is Friday, February 4th, and what you see behind me is a major, major grocery haul. So, usually I spend about $800 a month on groceries. Groceries slash food, and for our family, what that includes is literally everything that comes from the grocery store. That's anything that we may spend on eating out. So I think $800 is pretty good, but last month for the month of January, I was able to slash that bill in half. I loved it. I was so excited about that and it helped us to reach another financial goal. But today I'm gonna share with you guys a real life grocery haul and show you what I got and how much it all costs. So here we go. Here is a quick scan, holy moly. Okay, so this is not organized by any means, but I need to get this done before I go to work. So I'm just gonna go through and tell you guys what I, what I purchased, and then I'll put the price at the bottom. bottom. And remember, this grocery haul is for myself and my family. So we've got fries, and then we have chicken wings. These were buy one, get one free. And then lots of ground turkey. So one, two, three, four pounds of ground turkey. Um, sandwich cheese, some ham, then we got coffee, some K-cups, some organic K-cups here, and then <laughs> some nacho cheese in the can because I'm making nachos for the kids, for the family, and then some chili powder, um, less sodium chili powder and then lots of cans of beans so we've got kidney beans that's two and then here's another can of kidney beans and we've got some pinto beans two of those and then more black beans black beans yeah and then to go with that we've got the Rotel, the diced tomatoes and chilies there, and then more diced tomatoes. But let me come back over here before I get lost. And we've got grits, those were buy one, get one free. Hot sauce, ranch for the family, spaghetti sauce, that was 99 cents, two of those. Some ketchup. All right, we've got bananas, and this was actually all they had left, so I took all of them because we need fruit. And cantaloupe, and then four mangoes. Four kiwi. Two avocados. And then bread, they like um, the potato bread. So we've got some organic apples, tangerines, and then this is a bag of peppers, which I'll be making some stuffed peppers for myself for lunch, so I'll be sure to upload that video. Um, and then we've got some tomatoes, and we've got romaine spinach, lemon juice, biscuits, lettuce, like just iceberg lettuce, and then some half and half, yogurt, sour cream, and then some pasta, those were buy one get one free. And then, let's see, where do I go next? Okay, these chips are for the nachos. Dog food, I include the dog food in the grocery haul because again, it's literally everything that comes from the grocery store and everything that we spend on food, even dining out. Okay, and then, oh, I'm sorry, that was more romaine. White vinegar, I use this for cleaning and for other things around the house. Um, gain, so these are some laundry pots. 
So we tend to go between gain and tie. I like these because the kids do their own laundry so they can just put like one in there. But I also buy this because I'm grown up. I know how to measure. I use this. Um, or sometimes I'll use these if I'm in a hurry. But for the most part, I use, I try to save money by using this. Um, and then some dryer sheets paper towels, and dishwasher tablets. So, yeah, this is what we have. So I would love for you guys to take a guess down in the comment section of how much you think I spent. Um, I do wanna say that I went shopping at Winn-Dixie, if I didn't say that earlier, and I also use their app. So it, within their app, you're able to go in and clip coupons, so I, um, what I do is I tend to wait until they have coupons for like the laundry detergent and all of that. And I try to only buy those big items like laundry detergent, paper towels, all of those things when they have them on sale and when they have a coupon. So with everything that I spent, I was a little nervous because at first when she told me my total, um, before I put in like my disc, my card, because what happens is you clip all of your coupons on the, on the app. And then when you scan it, it takes off all the coupons. So before she told me my total, it was like 340 something dollars. I was like, ooh la. <laughs> but I ended up spending a total of $253.58. So with what I have here, I know it looks like a lot, but like for the rest of the month, I'll just only have to go back and like do little fill-ins so that it help out a lot. And I still think that I'll stay under the $800 grocery budget, but I'll be sure to share with you guys along the way. And per my receipt, I ended up saving $85.55 just by trying to look for things that were like buy one, get one free, or um, trying to use the things that I had coupons for, by purchasing the things I had coupons for. So it turned out pretty well, pretty well. Um, so yeah. Oh, and also, just so you guys know, like at Winn-Dixie, if you, like they also have these boosters. So I earned like $10 and something towards my next grocery haul, which will be nice because that'll help me save more money. And I also use my American Express, so I'll get 3% cash back and as well as using my Winn-Dixie card. And I think I got like eight, time, eight times the amount of points. So next time I will get like 10 bucks or so back on my groceries. So not bad, not bad. Not my $50 challenge, but not bad at all. So I love to hear how much are you guys currently spending on groceries? Yikes, inflation. Um, yeah, so until the next video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. And then also I use my American Express, so I'll also get 3% cash back. And I also, oh, turn.